um, so if I'm creating a, a one page application I tend to I tend to put a script tags on the very end after the body why this uh, why, why I'm doing this um, because um, <coughs> computer computers do things step by step uh, from the top to the bottom from the left to right or sometimes from right to left but basically top to the bottom left to right so if there is any code here will be executed and this code uh, will only know about something that happened up so mm, I'm, I'm using it because for example I can create in the body uh, h1 element which uh, that's why I like a visual studio code um, h1 element represents a section heading um, it, the section heading it, you will see in a second <clears throat> so uh, this makes the page uh, the, the text looks looks like a title let's write title yeah control save and let's uh, copy path and open it in here yeah this is what you wrote um title title well I, I just I just opened it in the browser so if I will change that to um, moo moo and save it with control s if I will reload it now it will say moo moo that's cool but what if I would like for it to write this al instead of alert just write it on the web, pa uh, web page always have the uh, exact date here because if right now, for example, I will write today is ten November twenty twenty one, it will never change. If I will open this file tomorrow, it will be the same. So how to do it? with uh, HTML I will just call call the elements this is this is an element this is like start like a box so this is start of the box one uh, start of the box and closing the, the box of this element so if I <clears throat> uh, if I name this box, uh, you, you can add some, it's called attributes. If you add the ID, which ID is, you, you can you can I, uniquely identify. It means like it's a name for this thing. It's re really useful for scripting, styling. So let's say ID equals, um, my title and I will write my title in Java in JavaScript my title dot inner 
text, inner, inside, text, text. My title inner text equals dzisiaj jest plus D. I will save it and let's refresh it now. So it still says that but the problem with these boxes is they, they block they, they stop the page from doing anything else so right now it's just waiting until we press but when I pressed it it wrote in the title oh I see I have a bug but it wrote in the title exactly the same thing so I forgot the space okay If I would put the script higher than this h1, my, that my title, let's do that, control V, uh, I would have an error and it wouldn't work, I think, I think, <laughs> I don't know. So yeah, it says something, but nothing happens, and I can press F12 or inspect the page. To see my title is not defined. This means that this my title doesn't exist. This code doesn't knows only about what is already defined. Like like with D. D doesn't exist until you write let d equals new date and then you can do alert if you would do alert on top of let d it wouldn't work it would say i don't know what d is the d is undefined so that's why i put script on the bottom of the page just after the body this is uh, this is recommended as well uh, in Harvard uh, programming courses. Um, what else I can say? Um, what I would do because we have already here some problem. What if I want to change it to English? I need to change it. Today is. And then change it into places. This is bad. This is not how uh, the programming is done. So I would do it this way. Every time if I would need to change, I would need to do that. I would need to write in both these places. I would do let um, text some or message let's call message or or just m let m equals and copy that control c and i will paste it here control v and now here instead of that i will use m alert m of this equals m and now i can change one place let's show you that this works yeah this works this works so now if i want to change the text to today is and reload today is 